I had texted you and I had asked you, I'm like, is he playing? Because ESPN, the yeah. ESPN app said he had 10 points in 15 minutes and like four rebounds and only missed like three shots. I'm I'm texting you and like, dude, what the hell is going on? Is Kemba Walker really going off for Detroit right now? And then you <laughs> sent me a picture of him at Austin. He was watching two of his former teams. But then Kemba Walker came out and said he wants to play basketball again. And then the news had dropped that the buyout offer the Detroit Pistons had given him, he said it was unacceptable. So are you really buying that Kemba Walker wants to play basketball again? I think he does. And like I said, I had to do a lot more research. I had no idea that he was still getting paid from the Oklahoma City Thunder because they waived him. He's making 27 million. He's set to make 27 million this year in dead cap space for the Thunder. He's set to make 9 million this year with the Detroit Pistons. Um, if he does stay on the team, whether he's bought out or whether he gets waived, he's still getting that $9 million regardless. Um, I think he does want to play basketball, but I think he's at this point of his career where a lot of the star players kind of have this notion and kind of a self-entitlement like self where they still think they're that star player and they still think he's worth $30 million when he's really not. Like he said, he'd come off the bench. Um, if that was the case why not come off the bench for the Detroit Pistons? Exactly, exactly. I would much rather watch a Kimball Walker than a Corey Joseph. 100%. Like, even, though, even though last week, don't don't mean to interrupt you, but last week we both did say that Kojo is a better basketball player than Kimball Walker. Yeah, and it's like if you don't want to play in Detroit, I have no hard feelings about it. I understand that you're in a point of your career where you see guys like John Wall playing for a contender with the Clippers. Like if you want to go play for a contender, say you want to go play for a contender. Um, the fact that he said that the buyout that the Detroit Pistons offer uh, was unacceptable. Now, I doubt Troy Weaver lowballed them. I mean, we could go back to the Blake Griffin buyout. I mean, Blake gave us $13 million back out of a $44 million contract. Uh, he's still getting 27 from OKC, and he's going to get $9 million um, with the Detroit Pistons. So either that money's already spent, or I, I really don't know what's going on. I, I, I just think the sooner the better, like, the Pistons have to make a decision by October 17th whether they're going to trade or waive him. So it'll be interesting to see what actually happens with him. See, I don't think he actually wants to play basketball. I think it's just one of these woe is me type of stories. You know, I think he wants his – I think he wants the full amount. I think he wants the full $9 million and he wants to be traded. Like, that's what he wants. Or, you know, I mean, I, I – it's hard for me to say that he really wants to play basketball because if he did want to play basketball, he'd be what? At training camp, he'd be traveling with the Pistons. He would be itching to play again. It doesn't feel that way. I just feel like he wants to sit and collect the checks. And I'm with you. I don't think Troy Weaver lowballed him. I don't think he offered him a bet. I, I can't imagine Troy Weaver offered him a bet. No. You know, I mean, dude, he's probably, you know, Troy Weaver probably still offered him like six or seven million. It probably wasn't that much less than what he's getting right now. But. I'm not buying that Kemba Walker wants to play basketball again. I'm. I think he's just saying that because he doesn't want to look like the bad guy in all of this. I mean, you, you can go back. I mean, like when I I believe it was the Seku Demboya trade. I, I don't remember, but whenever we got DeAndre Jordan in a trade, and then we waived him right away, so he yep. got his money. Yeah. So, like, for him to say that the offer was unacceptable, that doesn't really check out with Troy Weaver's track record since he's been here in Detroit. I mean, you can go back on, you know, I think it's called Spot, is it Spot Track or SpotTrack.com? Yeah, Spot Track, yeah. Spot Track. Like, you can look at the dead cap space and all, all the players that Troy Weaver has waived or given buyouts. Like, Troy Weaver is a very fair GM and he likes to, you know, keep a good relationship with his players. So, for him to say that, the offer was unacceptable. I kind of find it hard to believe. I do too. And like I said, he's just not trying to be the bad guy in all of this. Like if he really wanted to play basketball, he would be traveling with the team. He would be playing in Detroit. I mean, you're a veteran and you're at the, la the last little bit, but you see a guy like Cade and Ivy in the backcourt and another guy like Duran, and that doesn't excite you to get on the court with those guys. That's why I'm not buying it. I just think it's BS from Kemba Walker. Just say you want to collect your check and you want to ring chase by sitting on the bench for a contender. I would respect that a little bit more than saying, hey, I still want to play basketball. It's not like you're unsigned. You're on a team. Yep. You can go and play for the Pistons. I mean, I'd rather see you play than Corey than over Corey Joseph. I would like to see a scoring guard 
like Kemba, you know, even though I think he is on his last bit of last bit of life, I don't know how much he can give a team, but I do think that, you know, if he heals up and gets his body right, he could still be more of a factor than Corey Joseph. And I like to see that paired with Killian Hayes, but don't tell me you want to play basketball when you're on a professional team and you're not playing for him. That's just BS. I don't believe it at all. And I don't buy it.